Hi everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will discuss about how to handle multiple states with Flutter block. In the previous two videos regarding Flutter block series we were discussing about only one state that is the initial state itself but rather in this video we will be discussing about how to handle multiple states in Flutter block using qubits. And as an example we have here a simple app which contains the text form field and the button. As soon as the user enters the input and hits the submit button you see a circular progress indicator and after which we have a text widget and a back button. The text widget holds the data what you entered previously in the text form field and a back button which takes you back to the previous state that is the initial state of the app. And for this app we have made use of four states basically. One is the initial state that is Instead state is what we have this text form field and the submit button that is the layout which we see as soon as the app gets loaded for the first time. So we have a initial state which is the first state of our app and secondly we have the loading state and we have the loaded state as the third state. The loaded state is what contains this simple text widget and the back button right since it loads the data from the text form field we called it we call it as the loaded state and finally we have the fourth state which is the error state say for example let me go back to the initial state and if the user tries to hit the submit button without providing any details in the text form field then we will take or we will be displaying the error widgets which comes under the error state so basically we will, we will be dealing with four states one is initial state second is the loading state and loaded and finally we have the error state right so these three are the basic states which we will be discussing as the result of this video tutorial and we will look into how to handle these states and how to render particular widgets based upon the event changes right so these are the four basic states and as far as events are concerned we have two events one is for the submit button and another is for the back button right so submit button is one event which we can just uh, consider and the another event is the back button event right uh, to totally we have two events and four states for this application right hope you got a good overview about what we are about to discuss in this video tutorial and with this idea let's move on to the coding part right first starting with the qubits and more specifically with the states we will be having four states as discussed one is the initial state and second is the loading state followed by which we have the loaded state so in the loaded state is where we will be just making use of this text message that is the data which we will be writing down in the text form field so that will be just grouped under the loaded state and we finally we have the error state so basically we have four different states for this application and as far as the events are concerned we will be having two events first let us discuss about the event which will be triggered upon the summit button is pressed okay and that event would be display data which accepts the data which is the value which you enter in the text form field right so that data will be will get as a uh, parameter and followed by which uh, whenever the summit button is pressed you see the loading indicator so we will be emitting that loading state and the loading state actually lasts for 3 seconds so for the 3 seconds we will be able to visualize the loading indicator and after a wait of 3 seconds we will be uh, emitting the loaded state and we have a simple ternary condition check that is if the data what we got as a parameter if it is not empty that is if there is any value being provided in the text form field then we will be emitting the loaded state or else if the summit button is being pressed without giving any details in the text form field then at that time uh, we'll, this condition gets false and we will be emitting the error state right so this is uh, what we will be having or this is what we will be doing whenever this submit button is being pressed and let us just move on to the back button that is the event what will be triggered whenever the back button is pressed so in whenever this back button is being pressed we need to make a call or we need to define a separate event for that and we call that event as the restart state and simultaneously just like the before just like before we will be 
emitting a loading state a loading indicator meanwhile for a period of 3 seconds and after the 3 seconds wait will be emitting the initial state itself which brings you back to the initial text form field and the submit button that is what we call the initial state so these are the basic two events which we will be dealing with this example all right hope you got a good overview about the events and states what we will be using in this application now let us move on to the ui part starting with the main.dat file uh, we have a initial route the initial route points to my home page which you can see over here in say the roads folder the initial route points to my home page and which is wrapped inside the block provider right inside the my home page we have a set of uh, predefined layouts which are grouped together inside a single method just like what we have as the build initial layout build loading build load layout and the build error layout so we collectively just group them under a category and these are the predefined set of uh, layout say for example it is an initial state we have the text input field and the button right and if it is a loading state we have circular progress indicator simultaneously for the loaded state we have this text widget and the back button and for the error state we have a simple text but text widget and a button which navigates us back to the previous or the initial state and we have two event calls one for submit button and another for back button and the submit button just triggers or calls the event which is the display data which we just discussed before right the display data is what is written down here in the qubits which emits the loading state and the after a duration of three seconds wait will be just emitting the loaded state so that is what will be triggered whenever the submit button is being pressed simultaneously for the back button we will be triggering or will be calling the restart state that in turn will be again calling the loading state and finally after a wait of 3 seconds calls the initial state so these are two event calls so this is all the basic ui which you can just design by yourself and inside the body we we'll just need to make use of the block builder and we'll be making use of simple conditional check that is if the state is an initial state we will be just returning the particular layout which is the build initial layout in our case and accordingly for the loading we will be just returning the loading widget which is the circular progress indicator and for the loaded state is we will be returning the loaded layout widget which is which contains nothing but this text widget and the back button and to access the data what we have entered in the previous state that is in the text form field we can make use of state dot text message so if you go to this loaded state you see we have already defined a variable to grab that values which we entered in the text form field so in order to access that we make use of state dot the variable name right which is turned as the build loaded layout widget and finally if any none of the condition gets satisfied we will be making use of the error layout widget right right so this is all about how to make use of multiple states and how to categorize them and render different parts of the layout based upon the conditional checks that is very simple and this is how we can manage multiple states in your flutter app with the help of block pattern and simple qubits hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next video bye